You're watching the KDLT Sports Gridiron Preview Show. As we wrap up the Gridiron Preview, the best prep player and team in the area, they might be on the Iowa side of the border. And we're talking about quarterback Hunter Deckers, who's going to be playing in the Big 12 next year at Iowa State. After he wraps up a brilliant career at West Sioux, he has led the Falcons to consecutive state titles with a 25 and one record over the last two years, passing for more than 3,600 yards and 48 touchdowns last year. In fact, in his career, he's thrown for 7,000 yards and 90 touchdowns. Wow. Uh, Jay Rosenbaum's West Lion Wildcats might be one of the only teams that could stop their three-peat quest. Uh, West Sioux opens up at home with Boyden Hall Rock Valley, the only team that beat them last year, and they're expected to potentially contend in 2A, despite graduating their top offensive players in JT Van Tall and Elliott Van Kickrick. In Minnesota, a lot of Southwestern teams are trying to bounce back after stunning section final losses. Pipestone came up one point short of making their third trip to state in four years, and they have to replace a big senior class to contend again in double A. Minnesota. Looked like they were going to be on their way to a fourth state championship in five years until they were picked off in the Section 5A championship. However, Chad Johnson's program has been a machine, and it looks like they're once again going to be ranked in the upper half of Class A. Another couple of teams to watch in, in 3A, Jackson County Central. They lost just eight seniors off a team that had a run to the Section Final. Marshall has been terrific the last couple of years. They might actually have a starting quarterback in Indy issue there this year in Trey Lance but they will be a factor as well. And Hills Beaver Creek and nine men football. Yep. A lot to be excited about. And just a reminder, our first, very first football Friday, this Friday night, when a good number of schools get started, the larger 11 men classes in South Dakota have their first game a week from Friday. And we talked about that big clash in Iowa also being another week. It sure looks like an exciting season ahead. We'll be there with you until the championship games in South Dakota. And by the way, they're in Brookings this year, not in Vermilion, plus so championship I, games in I need Minnesota to. and Iowa. Hope you enjoyed our preview show. I got to we'll bundle you, up for Brookings. Friday night.